Hi everyone. I just finished day one of our Freedom Masters workshop. It is an intensive workshop and we go through absolutely every aspect of your life. Um, spiritual, financial, physical, sexual, every aspect of you. And, uh, and we let go of all the things that are no longer serving you, just melts away. And in turn, you get uh, connected with your spirit guides, with your higher self. It's, it's just a, a transformational weekend. So I had the blessing of working with a, it's a small int intimate group uh, this time around. It was a very last minute decision to have this. I felt a really strong need to go ahead and host a, a workshop here. And I knew it was going to be just a handful of people. Well, what a handful of people they were. <laughs> it was extraordinary. One of the ladies was talking about um, patterns. We, many of us have patterns, right? And, uh, you know, you pick the same guy, the same woman uh, in a couple of different relationships. They come in different shapes, different sizes, but usually it's the same story. And you think, my gosh, I've changed that story. I am doing really good. I'm not going to, I'm not going to attract that same kind of person again. And about three months into the relationship, you realize, damn it, I did it again. <laughs> For me, it was always the name Amanda. Every partner I had, I either left me for an Amanda, had an affair with an Amanda. What was with Amanda? You know, so it was something that I got to release and let go of. Um, was my connection uh, in not such positive way with uh, young girls named Amanda, it, and it started. Oh, 1990, 1992, it started for me. Isn't that funny? Long time with Amanda's. <laughs> Anyways, so it got to a point when someone would say, Hi, I'm Amanda. I'd go, ah. <laughs> Now I go, Hey, Amanda, how are you? Oh, see, you know, because I've come to, to love um, that aspect of what was my life and let it go. Anyways, this beautiful woman that was in the class, um, she was talking about her pattern <clears throat> of choosing psychopaths, <laughs> narcissistic, you know, interesting men in her world, which many have done, right? And uh, and I will keep my mouth shut on that one. Anyways, um, she came up with a quote, and it was someone that turned to her one day, uh, a therapist actually, and said to her, and I quote, you're going to keep attracting the psychopaths until you recognize the original one. And I went, wow, you're going to keep attracting the psychopaths until you recognize the original one. Or you're going to keep uh, attracting the addicts until you recognize the original one. You're going to keep attracting the dysfunctional person in your life until you recognize the original one. So what does that mean? The original one is the one that started the pattern. Now, it could have been in this lifetime or a previous lifetime. But in this lifetime, who was it? And for this beautiful soul, it was her mother. Her mother was a, an interesting woman. Uh, I dare say a psychopath. And so she discovered in that moment, oh, the original one is my mother. That's what she was saying. Not my mom, her mom. And in that moment of recognizing the original one, it was like the spell, the cast of the spell was broken and just poof, at that very moment. You see, once you look into your past timeline and you recognize the origins of any um, phobias, any health issues, any patterns, you know, things that you've been repeating. When you go to the original one and you recognize it for what it is, the original one, in that moment of recognition, it is dispersed and dispelled. Dispelled. It's a spell that no longer has any merit, any power over you. All you have to do is look at it. 
and by recognizing it as the original one, you let it go. And so it is. So that is the lesson for this evening. I hope to see you tomorrow and give you more updates. And I will be hosting uh, more Freedom Masters workshops. I usually do them once a year. But uh, the last one was at a beautiful hotel in Edmonton. But uh, this time it's in my home, which is really a beautiful place. Uh, so next year, we're looking at March 2025. I'll probably do another large event uh, here in Edmonton. Maybe another one in Calgary and maybe Vancouver as well. We'll see. Okay. We'll feel what's right. And uh, if it's meant to be, it will. And so it is. Much love to everyone. Have a good night.